It is Thursday, Holy Thursday, Maundy Thursday, April 6th, and this is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. As the 27th chapter of Matthew continues, Pilate, we are found, is trying to get out of killing an innocent man. You see, the thing is, he knows he's innocent. So he comes up with a tradition that has been something that may or may not have taken place. Nobody can really find the history behind it. But it says in the 15th verse, now at the festival of the Passover, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At the time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. Now, Jesus Barabbas, Barabbas means son of the father. Kind of an odd name for this story, huh? Son of which father? Son of the father in heaven? Maybe all of us are children of God. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas, Jesus son of the father, or Jesus who is called the Messiah? Do you want your Messiah or the son of a father, the father? For G Pilate had realized that it was out of jealousy that they handed him over to him. Now to make matters even more heightened for Pilate to extricate himself from this situation, a, a note comes to him. His wife sends word and it says, have nothing to do with this innocent man. Pilate's wife knows he's innocent. For today I've suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. She dreamed about Jesus and she doesn't want to have her husband have anything to do with him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas a dangerous prisoner. Which of the two do you want me to release to you, Pilate asked, and they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what do you want me to do with the one called the Messiah? And all of them, all of them, said, let him be crucified. The entire crowd who had sung his acclamation just the beginning of the week, the entire crowd who'd been seeing him heal and teach and bring about the kingdom of God, said, let him be crucified. Let us crucify God with us. Pilate asked, why? What evil is, has he done? They gave no answer. They just said, let him be crucified. They've now become a bloodthirsty mob, and the only thing that will assuage them is the death of an innocent man. So Pilate sees that he can't do anything He's powerless. Think about what Matthew is saying here. Pilate is powerless. The governor of Rome is powerless. The ways of the world are powerless. God's plan is marching along. If he doesn't act, the riot that breaks out is going to basically cost him his career, he thinks. So he takes some water, he washes his hands, and he says, I'm out of this. I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And he assigns some soldiers to help them oversee the crucifixion. God has sent his own self into the world, and the world has said, no, we do not want God with us. May his blood be upon us and our children. Wow. Think about the conviction of that statement. So Bar Barabbas is released. Jesus is flogged, and he's hand over to be crucified. So the soldiers now take him into the governor's headquarters, and they gather the whole cohort around him, all of the soldiers, and they strip him. They mock him. They put a scarlet robe on him so that he looks like a beaten king. They twist some thorns into a crown so that he has a crowd that crown that humiliates and they stick it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and they kneel before him, mocking him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they spit on him and they took a, the reed away from him. They strike him with it. Then they strip him of the robe, put him in his own clothes, and then they lead him away to crucify him. 
The world has spoken, and the soldiers now are the priests who take the actions of the people and put them into practice. The soldiers are the high priests of violence and death and mockery. Let us pray. Gracious God, on this Holy Thursday, we remember the sacrifice of our Savior and Lord. We remember his blood, his pain. We remember his will to see it through to the end. And Lord, we stand with those who said no with him because it said all of them rejected God with us. Forgive us, Lord. In his name alone, amen.